Dr. Tavares, what impact do cultural beliefs and practices surrounding illness and treatment-seeking behaviors have on delays in AML diagnosis and disparities in treatment adherence with, within the Black and Latinx communities? Thanks for this question. The experience that the patients may have had previously with the medical system or that their family members or friends may have had previously with the medical system may impact their uh, initial uh, care. It, it may be initially that patients, of course, don't know that this is what's going on and may think that they have some, you know, flu or viral infection or just not know the severity of the situation. And especially if the ex personal or family experience with health healthcare has not been positive, this may cause delays in presenting to a physician and obtaining a diagnosis. Unfortunately, we know that Black patients tend to be diagnosed with AML at an earlier age, and we know that they might not respond to treatment as well as their non-Hispanic white counterparts. So it, it's important to know this because young patients may not really foresee that they may be ill in this way and not seek care promptly. So with AML, the time to care is not necessarily going to cause progression of disease, but the patient may have complications from their disease by the time that we make the diagnosis. And that can make things a little bit more challenging. Unfortunately, also Black and Latin communities can face higher complication rates from treatment. And uh, that is something that we have seen in, in several clinical trials. In the specific situation of Latin communities, and, and well, not only Latin communities, but other patients um, with strong religious beliefs and the, for Jehovah's Witness specifically, this is a very challenging disease because patients who are Jehovah's Witnesses do not accept transfusions. And unfortunately, we know that if the patients with acute myeloleukemia are unable to be treated appropriately without transfusions. They, they may need transfusions because of their illness. And we know that with chemotherapy, unfortunately, the hemoglobin platelets get worse before they get better. So it's almost a guarantee that even if a patient with AML does not need a diagnosis, at, uh, does not need a transfusion, at presentation, it's almost guaranteed that they will need a transfusion at some point during the course of their treatment. So this makes it very challenging for patients who have that religious belief and um, may, may require involving um, their religious leader and can cause a lot of conflict within their family members, unfortunately. My activation tip for this question is to voice uh, your beliefs and, and so that your providers are aware of your goals and, and the barriers to care possibly and inform you better on, on how we can accommodate for your beliefs and improve upon the expectations that you may have from the healthcare system from previous experiences. 